Alrighty, boys and girls. Uh, I'm going to switch gears again. Today's video is going to be about my other passion, or my soon-to-be passion. Um, that's bench resting. Some of you might know what that is, and some of you might not. Bench resting is a form of firearm sports where it involves shooting paper targets or steel targets or anything to the, of that nature uh, in a controlled environment, controlled safe environment most likely gun clubs, uh, ranges that are usually CFO certified and deemed safe to um, operate firearms. Uh, I made this purchase, Black Friday special, and this is the opening box. Kinda already got the lid open. This is from MDT, and this is an Oryx chassis system. So I just wanted to show you guys how fantastic that MD, MDT, the company, they are a Canadian company by the way. I wanted to let you know just how fantastic they are. So in the box we got the obligatory sticker, uh, which could be, hold on a sec. There you go, much sharper. Which could be used, uh, truck window, gun safe, toolbox, whatever. They threw in a wonderful pair of MDT socks. That's nice. And I believe this is like probably a Christmas promotion. Um, what else do we get here? We got a MDT chamber flag. That's sweet. Oh. MDT Christmas card. Look at that. It appears to be signed by all the employees at MDT. Uh, may, may the God of hope fill you all with joy and peace and believing so that the power of the Holy Spirit you may inbound in hope. Romans 15 13. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, thank you, MDT, for the Christmas card. That was wonderful. Uh, here's the information card. Product in install instructions found at mdttac.com install. If you have any questions, call us 1604-393-0800 or support at mdttac.com. And my package was picked, packed, and checked by Sherilyn. Thank you, Sherilyn. Awesome job. Appreciate it. What else did they throw in? Wow. An Oryx t-shirt. And this is the kicker. I don't understand this. Guys, ladies, gentlemen, friends, neighbors. That's my shirt size. How did they know? MDT, how did you guys know what my shirt size was? You guys are amazing. And to prove it to you, here's my shipping tag receipt. That's all I ordered right there. Okay? There's no t-shirt. There's no socks. They give that as gifts. But I'm just beside myself with joy that I got a freebie that I'll actually be able to use. So that's totally awesome. Okay. Give me a standby for a second here. I'm going to pull the box out of the box and we'll have a look at it. And then I'll kind of give you a prelude as to what, what I'm doing with this. So please uh, stand by. And while you're waiting, don't forget, do not hit the like button. Do not hit the subscribe button. Do not ring the bell. Just kidding. Maybe you should. Well, I'll tell you what, boys and girls. If uh, the box... Is any indication of the quality of the product? Uh, we're in for a pleasant surprise. So, um, as you can say, see, MDT has done instructions specific to the manufacturer, and that's the manufacturer of what we're going to use. Is that another sticker? Get out. 
Oh, two stickers. Bonus points. Look at that. Um, let me dig this bad boy out. And then uh, we'll have a quick look at her. There, we got a little bit of better light on the situation. Um, this chassis, as it were, is made of aluminum, is the base material. The whole action, or the, the, sorry, the whole the section where the action gets attached to is all made of aluminum. The, uh, the grip, supposedly that's uh, AR interchangeable grip. The trigger guard is is uh, part of the, the entire aluminum block system. It does have uh, adjustable length to pull, adjustable cheek piece. Um, I'm going to tell you guys right now, I'm left-handed. And I'm going to put a right-handed action in this. But what's really important to me was that I was able to use this chassis left-handed and not have any sort of interference of screws or anything else like that. Um, I know I've seen some aftermarket cheek piece adjustment screws that looks like they might touch my face because I will be shooting this left-handed. So there's that. That's kind of one of the things that led me to it. Plus it was on sale, fantastic sale for Black Friday. Um, I understand that um, Oryx doesn't include or MDT, sorry, it doesn't include the uh, length of pull adjustment shims. But most likely, because I'm a very big guy, I'm 6'2", got long arms, I'm going to end up having to buy some shims. So we'll be looking to uh, MTD to supply those to us. Uh, I picked the olive drab green because I think it looks fantastic. I, and the lighting's not so great, but I think it looks, let me get to see. Yeah, I think it looks great. The black and the uh, ODG looks awesome. So uh, this chassis is going to be the base, the foundation for um, a Ruger American centerfire. Cal the caliber is going to be 204 Ruger. Um, some of you guys might be familiar with it. Maybe some people aren't. But it's a very, very small centerfire projectile uh, based around varmint control. But I'll be using it for punching targets. Um, at various distances. Uh, I've been watching some YouTube guys out there and uh, Hootie Who was actually the inspiration behind this. So, got to thank him for inspiring me to do this build. He's done the same thing. He took a Ruger American Predator 204 and built, built it into an Oryx chassis. Now the fun, the great thing is, is this takes AICS magazines, which is the base magazine that that particular uh, firearm came from, came with, sorry. So that's what we're going to be building. So uh, that's basically about it, other than I got to thank MDT again for all the freebies. I got to thank them for just, you know, I hope this, uh, you know, from what I've seen online and... Looking at this thing, I think this is this is going to be an amazing build. Um, she's going to be hefty, um, and she I don't know probably just going to be damn nice. The only thing I'm sad about is the Oryx chassis. It does come in 1022 Ruger, but I don't think they do a left-handed version of it yet. And I do own a left-handed target uh, 1022, so I'd like to build that into a chassis. But if you're look, if anybody from NDT is uh, out there uh, listening or watches this video, please consider the left-handed uh, platform for uh, the 1022. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, or uh, I don't know, CZ457 left hand and an Oryx chassis. Come on. A lefty's dream for rimfire. So hopefully we'll get that. Uh, just to let you guys know, I do believe the MDT product line is a product of Canada. They're made in Canada. If you're Canadian, 
please support Canadian companies. If you're American, which I know a lot of my viewers are, MDT is an awesome, awesome choice for something made North American uh, by North Americans to promote the sport, the sport of target shooting, um, safe shooting in a controlled environment where people can enjoy themselves. So without going too much further on, I just want to thank everybody for watching the video again. Please stay tuned. You'll be able to see this bad boy put together. It's going to be a Christmas holiday project. Uh, Jake and I are going to get it together. And then uh, hopefully, if weather permitting, we'll take it out to a range and see how it operates. Uh, I've been doing some reloading. Got some stuff ready. So we're good to go. Anyway, thanks again. Have a great day. Uh, be safe. Always be safe. Always practice your firearm safety rules. And uh, hey... Make sure it's not loaded. We'll see you soon. Bye now.